Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Jishan and if you are new to my channel, then I must tell you that now onwards we are going to see content and uh, knowledge about the VLSA industry, especially in India. I cover videos related to various interviews and the questions asked in those interviews of various industries like NVIDIA, Intel, Qualcomm and all major industries in the uh, semiconductor market. I also cover videos related to placements of various Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3 colleges in India, especially IITs and IITs or like private colleges like BITS and uh, various colleges all over the India. Along with this, I cover various insightfuls and knowledge about the new techs in the semiconductor industry and you can check out my link LinkedIn posts as well and the community posts on YouTube channel. So all of these kind of content I create on my YouTube channel. So moving forward today, I'm going to cover the interview questions of a very famous company, especially in service and EDA tools, because this company provides their EDA tools to the product based companies like NVIDIA, Intel and Qualcomm. So the company which I'm going to tell you have really good conversion rate with respect to the employees who get joined as a fresher. So it has almost 90-95% conversion rate because almost every intern gets converted to full-time employee in this company. So the uh, students have very high choice to join this company. So today I'm going to tell you recent interview questions of the company that is Cadence and which these questions have been asked to my one of my friends and it has been happened in just Feb 2024. These are the questions which are going to help you in your preparation for the VLSI companies and your interviews because as you already know like VLSI companies are really looking actively for the skilled aspirants and with much higher packages. So the questions which I'm going to tell you are the basic plus advanced level questions and these will surely help you in your preparation. So first of all let me tell you a brief about this interview. So Cadence took interview for the analog design engineer profile. Well of course there were two rounds of the interview and both of the rounds were taken through web meet that is video conferencing and the very first round was taken from one of the members of the team from cadence and the second round was taken from the manager himself like who leads the team so both of the rounds were taken from the uh, two different persons and i must tell you that the second round of the interview was quite exhausting because the interviewer was just grinding each and every question suppose if you're not able to solve a question or you're stuck in between then he just puts a hint to that answer and you move still a little forward and if again you are uh, stuck in the middle of the same question then he again give you a hint and you just need to move forward again and again so this process goes on for each and every question so like for every question he was asking a uh, multi multi questions in between the questions so basically he is not going to leave any question and he just need answer to the end of uh, every question so this way it almost take two and a half hours for the whole second round of the interview well apart from this this interview was meant for the intern profile with a stipend of rupees 45,000 monthly and that is the fixed amount and uh, this interview was based for the Bangalore location so if you are selected then you have to move to the Bangalore now without delaying anymore let me tell you the question of the very first round so the time of the interview was scheduled and each, each communication was going through the emails. So at the fixed time, both of them joined the web meet uh, through the link. So before starting the interview, interviewers asked the student to open the paint because there are going to be some questions which needs to be drawn on the graph and some circuits all that. So he just asked to open the paint on a slide. Now the very first question was draw CMOS inverter and VTC curve. So after drawing both of these, he asked about the reasons of NMOS and PMOS will be on the VTC curve. So this is very, very basic question. And the, this same question was asked to me in my Intel interview. And this, this was also the very first question. So this question was not asked to check your skill, but it was just to pick the momentum in the interview because interviewers knows that this is just um, understood and very common question but beware some students get confused in this very basic question as well due to nervousness and sometimes due to lack of knowledge anyhow next question in the interview was draw idc versus vdc graph characteristics and idc versus vgs graph characteristics of nmos now here you need to draw the graphs both of the graphs for the nmos but in some interviews the interviewer might ask you to draw graphs for the pmos so you need to prepare both for nmos and PMOS characteristics. Now after drawing both of these graphs, he asked about the reasons the NMOS will be on both of these graphs. So basically he was asking about the cutoff, saturation or triode reason the NMOS will be on these graphs and you need to locate uh, those on the curves. 
Now after this, he added one more question. Where on this curve the endmost will be working as amplifier and why it will be working as an amplifier? So the answer of this question you must tell me in my comment section because this is very very basic question and I hope कि इतना तो आपने prepare किया ही होगा कि these two questions which I have just told ये दोनों बहुत ही basic questions हैं और इनके answer आपको मेरे comment section में बताने हैं. So next question in the interview was draw schmidt trigger and what will be the output for a sine wave now hearing this question you must ask the interview like which schmidt trigger you need to draw because there are various schmidt triggers like there are inverting schmidt trigger and non inverting schmidt trigger and both of these are op amp based and one is there with the cmos technology based so there are various schmidt triggers and you need to ask the interview and he will be happy to hear this question from your side now knowing about the specific schmidt trigger you need to ask the offset voltages so using the values of the offset voltages you can just tell about the output of the schmidt trigger uh, with respect to the input and uh, the input in this question was sine wave so you need to just throw the uh, output at the output node of the op amp in this question uh, my friend was asked about the in inverting schmidt trigger now after this question next question was uh, do you know about the mille and moore's machines so as my friend was not that much into digital design and he bluntly said that he doesn't know about this question so interviewer just skipped this question and he just moved with a, a little smile now i have already told in my previous videos that resume is the first thing which you prepare must now again in this interview my friend was asked about the project which he did during his masters and this project was taken from his resume so actually he saw his resume and he just asked directly questions from the project work which he did so if you want to prepare your project well you might lose this game because it's an important part of your resume and your profile and at the same time it's an important thing for the interview to know because with this he would know that you actually worked for your project or you just passed and this will also project your behavior if you will be in the company so your project work is very very important for you and you you need to choose a very good project so that because this is the only thing which is other than the questions of the interviewer himself so again let me tell you you must choose a very very good project and your project should be on your tips and it will be on your tips if you would have worked on it really well so don't just take your project lightly and prepare it well now if we talk about my friend's interview my friend had designed an op amp so he was asked about the gain margin what is phase margin what is uh, what are crossover frequencies and how to decide budget of an op amp and how will you start making an op amp so these kind of questions he was asked during the interview and he really gave best answers for these questions and also interviewer asked every corner of the project work so he just replied each and everything and for your knowledge let me tell you that my friend did his project on cadence virtuoso and that is with 28 nanometer technology node and one more thing these project based questions took maximum time of the interview and you can say like uh, like 25 to 30 minutes was these in the questions which were asked from the project work so after these questions next question was what are various process corners and uh, this is again basic question and you must tell uh, the answer in my comment section and then and after this next question was what happens in post silicon validation so basically he was asking about uh, just a profile you can say and you need to just tell a very basic thing about the post silicon validation and after this there were two basic questions from the networks and he asked about the rc networks and you need to tell about the output at the output nodes so these are the two questions rc based questions which you which i have shot on the screen now after these rc based questions next question was draw low pass filter and its response for various time constants of circuit for pulse input so the input was the pulse input and after that he asked about the applications of low pass filter so this is again basic but students generally skip these kind of questions because these are the questions from the btech and generally we can't expect that these kind of questions can be asked but yes this question was asked in the interview of cadence and this low pass filter question was also asked in the intel interview and one of my friends have witnessed this question so i will also cover that interview as well so with these questions interview just ended and there was also second round of this interview because this is the screening round and uh, they have chosen four five students so i will tell the second round questions in my next video thank you so much for looking over this video thank you